Lana au ni ibilisi alipanga Labda hamna zaidi ya jua Likitua kaburi giza Kiburi lala salama Mwili na geuka chakula chamchwa Au labda mama na majamaa watamweleza mwana wakiiga mauni ya baba Kama mimi mfano wa vile ufai ufanye Usifuate nyayo, wefuata moyo Kula vibes za minds na pages Your moves the grow wings the sages Chora ujanja ya bobu, lenga picha mobu You utter smiles or selfies Ficha struggles on the margins Brother, jenga name na keja Manze, chunga kuhanya na lika Gade, hakuna masi for the species Kwa hizi street hustles Cheki ni liangusho na risasi Hadharani kwa rodi na muizi na jidai polisi Hakidai mimi ndio kwa guzi Lazima ni katizwe pumze Maybe he seed generation from your mom and I's consummation Ndiyo itakuwa redemption ya protegi wa maali ways For zile sins as he was make it Kwa you no Jesus Pingu za maisha Sina tuchanga nisha This is the 5 a.m. Club, and you already know we are getting into our next segment, which is my personal favorite because I get to interview amazing people on this platform, and my guest is in the building. I have <laughs> I have Lexus Mshahiri, Mr. Nzolo. He is an award-winning poet, speaking machine, born 2nd November he is the <laughs> so spoken funny. word artist Mwenyewe Anna Dreams is a tomorrow a combo boy with a dream Wakwitu Watch How are you doing this morning? I feel poor Sana thank you so much for having me Thank you so so much for yeah. coming yeah. So for those people who do not know who Mr Nzolo is yes, can you uh, please introduce yourself Zolo Mudama. I come from Machakos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My people. Yes, Natoko Kambani. I started doing poetry in terms of performance and writing in 2016. Mm-hmm. Professionally in 2018. So mm-hmm. that's a few six, seven years of performing and writing, which is fun. Wow, so that is incredible. I want to know, when did you first fall in love with writing? Honestly I was in high school. Na na high school kuna kwanga na anxiety issues na mm. just was on a look down on you and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I feel like poetry is kwanga my way of letting out everything. Mm. So time in your funky zil cause na you remember those times yeah. and stuff. Yes. So like I wasn't so confident to to go and talk to probably the girls or the people who were coming mm. to school and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was like I used poetry as a as a means to talk to people. So I was hiding behind it for the for the most part. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can't just when you open up to your audiences. I figure that everyone is going through a lot. We're yeah. going through a lot as a people, mm-hmm. and I can only just share the experiences and hope that it's a side I'm safe. Incredible. So ever since, I'm quite inspired to bring up hope, to kill a key to, to bring up light, to kill a key to, and I'm quite unable to find it. Hey, I love it. What is your first poem? In Julian Bikayani, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Take a, us back. <laughs> that's a very stupid poem. Yeah. But it's, it was probably creative at the time. Mm-hmm. The genesis of all these aliens, Moses, Alexodas, the Leviticus, and I've just got in the books of the Bible. Which yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. So here you are, you decide to go full force into this and you immerse yourself into spoken word. I want to know when your first performance was. Hmm. That's a very interesting question. Mm. Honestly, I used to perform in school like our principal at the time. Mm-hmm. I studied in Badonli Samo Kambani, a school called Kathiani Boys. Ah. Iko hapo hivyo Kathiani ukipanda hivi mlima ni nini? Yes. So yeah, the principal at one particular time corporate mm-hmm. um, principally 
acha kutupia chance nilikuwa tunajiona na the, the guy who was in charge the head boy mm-hmm. alafu tukawa mbecheki before prince ya kam so then ndo nifanye kitu yeah. and then i just took my paper and just went there mm-hmm. i used to talk so fast at the time mm-hmm. but at least people understand in me so nikaanza perform ya ora stuff lani hapo akasema yes so <laughs> then so i just kept doing that for the most part mm-hmm. hgm za shule zikiapen wazazi wakikamka like a thousand of them or 2000 of them mm-hmm. at like my first audience there mm-hmm. and then right after that i now meet spaces in machakos and then i moved to nairobi and mm-hmm. i'm performing in theaters i'm performing in auditoriums in big spaces which is weird but <laughs> <laughs> yes you are see yeah you have a guitar right with you yes <laughs> uh you know the people who usually name their guitars first of all yeah. does your guitar have a name so to surprise you yeah This guitar is a gift. It's a gift. Yeah, I was given actually yesterday by a friend. Really? Yes. Oh. <laughs> that's incredible. Thank you so much. I want to know yeah. when did you learn how to play the guitar? Um 2018 has been the year of growth for me. Mm-hmm. But 2020 was the highlight. Mm-hmm. To, that was the kind of the worst and the best year. Mm-hmm. From Mozambique, you remember COVID and we got yes. COVID in Kuja. Uh, yeah. Everything was just going south. Mhm. So like you're there you have your guitar I honestly had my guitar right before that because mm. my father is a creative too which mm. you can talk about Yes But, so he kind of bought me the guitar and mm-hmm. then right after that I had to figure out okay nitechezaje what will it mean to me nikicheza mm-hmm. so nilikana now since 2018 until 2020 now tulikuwa nyumbani na mzazi mm-hmm. and everything was just very slow Yeah so nikashika guitar nikasa indo si nafanya hivi So I just kept doing that for the most part and then I eventually nika come out kumbe ni shale wa musicality And then right after that now I transition my poetry because I used to not be rhythmic. Mm. So my poetry now turns to be more rhythmic mm. or musical. And now now I'm able to create albums with people and easily just blend with people and yeah. musicians. Yeah. That's incredible. Can yeah. we talk about your dad? Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, please tell us about him. So my dad is called Sokomoko Jazz. Mhm. So he kind of plays the rumba kind of music Ooh. and jazz jazz. So yeah, he, I mean when I was like they are kind of the eastern kind of Musician, mm, musicians i don't know if you know them kuna was an into a anitangwa nani inaanza kuchanganyikiwa sasa jo menuliza kuna was alone don't mwambi if you come from machakos you know them they have like okay. the most prolific in terms of the old generation mwambi mm, mm, mm. is a guy called i think ngelani i can't remember the names properly but mm-hmm. he used to sing in the bands too that is so, so dope so kuna so wapo mbele unaona sasa wazai flani na kwa guitar na yeah. wasi that is so so <laughs> dope <Yeah. laughs> i want to know there was the first edition of read my lips yes. and you hosted that so ni ameli chimba yes that was in machako too yes. so i did my f- very first gig in 2018 mhm so i didn't got too fresh i was after just a few months or a few years from high school mm-hmm. and got una taka kuna how is the industry and just doing it that's one of the monetary value to come after that and got yeah. una, i just want to do it mm-hmm. i just have a few shillings nimekuwa na save pocket money tangu for more and mm-hmm. i just want to do it yeah. and then yeah i go and get a hole to use it to cook fanya the show alafu i just have a few creatives when you wanna penda kitu nafanya and resonate in terms of our material mm-hmm. and ukasema okay actually fine yeah so we did the first edition and a good number of people actually came though it's a new environment people don't even know me as much yeah and that was the first edition and then right after that obviously it was not as good because it's just starting up mm-hmm. but people came wow. people shared a lot of love and yeah incredible tell us about talentum tani oh uh, 2018 <laughs> <laughs> i saw you spitting and i was yes. like what <laughs> this guy you you are incredible like so yeah so i would want to be your show that was crazy too so the first i think the eastern part well kuna fanya some regionals in isil was napping around the country mm-hmm. and that that was like the peak of talent i'm telling at the time yeah to kona kina max okay lo your time mm. like one of the few people's be on make it go industry so just seeing the people lafu in pax on make in life later in make so much sense mm. so tunapatana na say and we just competing and trying to share our material and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we do yeah, we happen to be on the same stage with good people. Everyone is good either way, but mm-hmm. just getting to see like people now wana kuacha nyuma mekuwa sasa hii. Your process here is interesting sana. Yeah. So we get on the stage, we perform, people like it, the judges like it. We're like okay, probably what we're doing is very important. Yeah. And then we proceed to the 
the next level mm-hmm. and you just keep doing it you yeah. just keep doing it so it was an experience for me mm-hmm. and i'm glad that people like it i'm glad that you like the performance too yes do 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 take us through crib sessions <laughs> how did it come to be and oh, let me tell you you yes. should continue these crib sessions by the way i, hear I think it's such a dope concept thank you so much ilianza <laughs> Honestly, I just have a few friends. Mm-hmm. Me I think my life is based on relationships with people. Mm. So I I have a few friends, a friend of mine anaitwa JC Tunzi. Mhm. And tunapatana tu like tunapatana kwa tunyumba twetu tu to to bed sita to to one bedroom to to bed. Tunapatana tu just have some space tunafungua ka space tunaleta keys et tunaleta guitar. Mhm. And we just to kind of case of it on impulse. Look, we didn't take like 30 minutes of writing. We just okay, we can just write something record it post it and forget about it that is so so <laughs> dope so yeah. you come and you make a whole new song yes and you just jam and we are done with it uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i'm so so curious you've yeah. gotten to perform a lot yeah. and i'm curious yeah. what's been your best performance so far and why oh my days mm. i feel like i'm connected with every performance every piece mm mm-hmm. Because Zote Zina come from a very honest point. Mm. Some are very sad and in. Some are very life. All of them are feeling life giving. But some are very hyped. Some are very chini. Mm. And I think everything in a man is a key to know you. In a man is a key to know you. Mm. Because I view like my telling or my storytelling as sharing the human experience. Yeah. And trying to just be vulnerable with everything. Mm-hmm. Because I have a background in psychology and stuff. So mm. just trying to use art as a form of therapy too has been everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like seen our best performance. Mm-hmm. Some are very zingine ni kizifanya I think na skenga kulia. Zingine zifanya skenga tu kucheck and scream and everything. So <laughs> that is so so dope. Yeah. Now there is Kenya Poetry Slam. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this now. For me I didn't know there was uh, such a platform and yeah. an event. I was like, what? Yeah. Where have I been? Yeah. Would tell us about it. <laughs> yeah. So, um Slam has been happening for the last 10 or something years. Mm-hmm. And the Slam that I was part of was the 65th Mm-hmm. So wow. like to say there have been 65 champions over the last That's few crazy. years. That's crazy. So like it's crazy honestly. Mm-hmm. So they they in you know, they you have preliminaries and mm-hmm. you have the main grand slam. Mm-hmm. So what you saw was the grand slam. So they come and have a preliminary and then on a chujo say. Okay. So okay. you come like 20 of you only four of you or three of you make it. Mm-hmm. Right after that unapatana na like other three people and other three people who are all winners. Mm-hmm. and now you face the same stage mm-hmm. so tunapata na place kama Lions France National Theatre we have an entire auditorium in Messel out and people are so silent they're listening to poetry hata wataki the music wanta kanyoto na Nicol Bar so nyota mnasema misho hapo and you're so tense everything is quiet you're just I'm second kisha coin on the skier and now I'm kuskiza and that's really real wow but yeah we we made it through it's been an experience so far yeah but. that is so so dope yeah. now you had wristbands I dreams did. are tomorrow well, so yeah those everything yes yo so what inspired the wristbands and i want to know about this dreams are tomorrow phrase yes. that you have yes So Dreams of Tomorrow is my debut album. Mm. So it was a kind of a 2021 project to some degree. Yes. But Dropped November 6th. Yes. <laughs> so Tomorrow is my debut album and it was just telling stories of trying to make it in the big city. Mm. And the confusion of there is one particular poem in my Arabic mm-hmm. tongue and it will. And um, a guy called Peter in it on Japanda. And that kind of tells the entire story of the album because mm-hmm. Like pursuing art is a very complicated thing. True. In a way that unajipanga unajipatanga kwa two cross paths then you either choose the art which is very unpredictable. Mm. So there's a possibility you can be very good at the craft and never get anything in return. Mm. And you just do it. Yeah. And probably end up to being very starving or you end up very, being very successful at mm. the same time. Mm. And this this other one. Okay, let's let me stick to a 9 to 5 um promise of something at the end of the month. Mhm and my family is okay yeah. if i have future family in the near future just yeah just the confusion of that mm. and trying to see okay so where does this tie socially economically and politically yeah 
Nimesema socially economically po. Hey, nimeanza kukaa politician line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like how does it tie to the entire society at large? Mm. Yeah, so these are dreams which is a, a young person trying to make it in the crazy city man. Man, I get you. Now you have books. I do. Tell us about when we speak. Yes. Uh, yes. Was this your first book? So when we speak is under a collective that we formed later on in life. Okay. Not really late. I think by the time I was starting to make sense of my craft. Mm-hmm. So I have a group called Rafinki. Mm. So Rafinki comes from the word Rafiki. Mm-hmm. And now you notice there's a N between N- I and K. Yeah. Which means it's because of ink. Mm. Inky. Ah, See? okay. So yeah, it's a collective of friends who are united by ink. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's currently a trust. So we are trying to just build everything an entire society and mm-hmm. entire community for people. So it has workshops mm. like every month. It has open mics. Oh. It's doing trim- like it has so much in store like said I know like stacky copriamti but you're about to see like yeah. wonderful things in the scene for us. Wow. So yeah, it was the first book under Rafinki mm-hmm. so I had two of my poems like mm-hmm. And yeah, actually it really pushed agenda and people like came out we did a show was sold out yeah. and, and we don't like what's our opinion I like to know and which is very important because in a feel it's not about lexus mm. it's about the impact of what we are doing to mm-hmm. people when you come up mm. so yeah just the impact of was you going to ku ku on hatch the very important thing we do yeah. yeah so before we started the interview i got to play something from your album and you were like yo it's yeah. such a throwback <laughs> so it dropped november 6th yeah. 2021 and we have 15 songs yeah produced by Rasa Moore yeah. and it takes about one hour to listen to mm. please take us through this album and what it means to you Santi Sana so um thing is we had two albums dropping in November mm-hmm. Dreams of Tomorrow and From the Margins yes from the margins yeah. so Dreams mm-hmm. of Tomorrow is the one with 15 tracks mm-hmm. I think mm. I'm not sure yeah I think the ones of from the margins as probably eight tracks mm-hmm. and Two of these albums really come Ziki Fortana. Mm-hmm. Like it was I'm creating Dreams of Tomorrow on the side I'm working on from the margins. Mm. So Dreams of Tomorrow is basically my entire project featuring the people around me and creatives that I admire. Mm-hmm. From the margins is a collaborative album in it to like six of us as creatives. So that's Dofan, that's Rasamor the producer, mm-hmm. Karembo, it's Kikete FM, it's Murathe and it's a singer called Liboy. Okay. So both of these albums have two different trajectories. So this is more of a dream of a young person trying to make sense of his life, mm. his career and stuff. Mm-hmm. From the margins is trying to highlight um the problems we face as a community in the society. Mm. So to find a like community visits to Lienda Kakuma to Lienda wapi like every other lender this slums kathaya mm. to lend that DKU to get in a students to kajaribu kwele was always the place of education. Yeah. In a person mm-hmm. to ideally so that you came in to come out here nikenda macha was as young as i can chini on ulize eh nzolo lexus to vote here nani and i've never really thought about it but they see me as privileged mm. because i went to study mm. in Nairobi, the big place the big and city. Yeah. Yeah. so like you're trying to see okay so where placement i'm saying kwa society na manishaje kwa nini tafanyikia society yake at large So yeah, I think it was a very powerful album creating too. Like both of these albums are very great. From mm-hmm. the margins I love it very much because we took like so much time preparing. Mm-hmm. I took in the studio mm-hmm. to listen with us like the community for like three months trying to get stories. Nice. And right after that to like okay, now we need to create but how are we creating? To mm-hmm. take an entire two months trying to figure out and then an entire month recording and mm-hmm. then ah, it was <laughs> way too much time we put in which reciprocates to the kind of work you get to hear right now. Incredible. Yeah. I'm so curious what inspires you that's a very interesting question yeah i think life in general mm. i feel like life is a roller coaster mm-hmm. and at this moment you have an emotion on a feel mm-hmm. so mina jaribu to go tap into what i call the soul mm-hmm. and trying to tap into life itself mm-hmm. and hoping that as we share our stories as we become vulnerable in that to manage to heal as a people mm-hmm. to manage to know god and his of it is out here yeah so mean i feel na feel but i feel like creativity or what i do is a gift mm. to me so i just have to make use of it mm-hmm. i just have to be intentional about it pianisi bebona wave because it's easier for people to just 
lose themselves in fame and money and true everything so just trying to be very true to what i'm doing mm. and representing my people too. nice yeah. what's been your highlight so far in your career hmm it's a very interesting question <laughs> i have had a number of gigs okay. i've had a number of projects mm-hmm. i i've done concept shows Honestly, we have a show coming up, which yes. is interesting. July 26th. Yes! The Journal <laughs> of a Mad Therapist. Rogan Rogan. Yes. <laughs> it's happening at the National Theatre, yeah. Yeah. Rogan so Rogan. <laughs> I feel that's one of the highlights for me. Because you can imagine, mm. I've attended Slam, and Slam was happening at the main theatre. Mm. And now I get to host my own show at the main theatre. Yeah. And you have like 500 people coming. Incredible. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I was coming. I could have, like two years ago, I didn't make sense. Mm, mm. So I'm like, I'm grateful for the impact. And it's not about me. Mm. It's about the people around me. It's about why do people want to listen to this craft? Yeah. Because I feel like if Lexus is growing, then the scene is growing. Mm. And the people around me can feel the impact. Now I manage to be strengthened. I feel okay. Come sana do sitting as a fan. So me, me, I have like an entire crew of around 50 people. Wow. So it's just not, you see me, yes, but then they're like, what's wrong with Koko Nyuma? We're not always stressed about this for months because yeah. like the project has taken, Tangu January, it's been one and a half years in the making. So, mm. so you, you just see like there's work behind it, there's yeah. intentionality behind it, mm. and people love to watch it. And when I take a kuja kuyona, like the show was in July 26th. Yeah. In May 26th, there's someone who went to the theater, a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. She went there and then I called and I'm like, Alexa, suko afi? I'm like, you see, show you in two months. In two months? Wow. So that's a lot of love. Yeah. So and I feel like the, the journey pia kufikama ni tumefika ni highlight kubo. Mm. I can't stay anything specific but i feel like in the next a few years be to not look back to nasema yeah that was something that was something yeah. is there any other poet or person that you look up to yeah and good thing or funny thing mm-hmm. what you may look up to to manage be a stages to manage work on projects like dofan is a mentor of mine and we worked on an album together mm-hmm. now that's very weird and yeah. good at the same time. Kina Mufasa, kina Tear Drops, kina every single poet ni wase to me interact na wao like on a personal level too. Mm-hmm. So like me na fry sana kan me pata privilege and I'm just open like what I've gained in tape watu wengine. Mm-hmm. Because si ku get keep ni ku pata saidi watu wengine wa come yeah. up to place place in yuko. Mm-hmm. Pia wa grow. Yeah. So Dope, dope. Tell us about Kikete. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Kikete, Kikete is a mentor to and a brother of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, and Pierre was very instrumental in the project. Yeah. He's also been very instrumental in like Rafinki, his startup and everything. They mm-hmm. used to come to even KU. So ideally, Rafinki started as a kind of a club in KU. Okay. So to Kisoma at the time, to Nasema, okay, Akuna Society na embrace you. Theater groups in his cocos in Altaka to cut and raise shows out as it mm. tracking on the main acts. To mm. like, you know, we are actually good at what we do. Why are you yeah. making us get in raise and we can actually do a very good job? Mm. To go like, come on to Taki, we can form our own society. Mm-hmm. And then the school doesn't really understand it, wants us to join the debate club. We're like, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so, because I'm okay, no, uh, let's just talk in Dania too. And love society shall to grow. Mm. It's not a okay, KU thing, it's People in Nairobi want it. People in Kenya want it. Okay, mm-hmm. to talk it. Yeah. And then now we eventually come out. And just seeing like people like Ikete, people like Dofa, and just coming mm-hmm. to support us from the very beginning. I decided, mm-hmm. they want to say, who to pick up? Check him, not blind any place. Mm-hmm. Take any place. To go like, yes, I sent anyone. They are like people who are much clearly I'm going to have a place to my feet. So yeah. to go grateful, Sana. Dope, dope. I saw uh, that you teach guitar. Do you still professionally teach? <laughs> I did try to but people still reach out to learn guitar. Okay. But then the schedule is getting so tight. It's crazy, I'm, tra- yeah? I'm trying so much to try and offer as much as I can to people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think very soon it uh, because I'm trying to venture. I just recently graduated in like psychology. psychology. I'm talking to you about it. Mm-hmm. Psychology and sociology. Mm. So I'm trying to see how best I can use art as therapy. Okay. So probably in me teaching guitar, I can be able to kind of help people na techniques za kukop na trauma mm. healing and stuff. Yeah. So I hope to transform the just teaching the guitar to mm. more extensive things. Yeah. Who take us through Nanda Ivina come? 
No, it was a poetry performance yes. and it was compromising of like metaphors, you had rhymes, those vernacular language and fine tunes that lies a boy who's trying to be a man. Yes. Yeah. Me want this one you know you blow my. Yeah, um Lane David come up happened in it's probably like exactly a year from now. Mm. And Ilya in a place called Aroma the restaurant. It's off Koinange Lane. Mm-hmm. And we had people coming out. It was sold out too. Um, and ideally, it's trying to tell a story of Ushe's case story. How uh, one hit wonders mm. like creatives. Yes. So ideally, you leave the village. So have left Machakos, for instance. Nazi mm. semani kijaribu collaboration no niye lewa. So you leave your home and you bid farewell. Like wasasi wana kona kumbi acheki. Unenda city to na kumbi asana kuzguafiti. And so you go and you're looking for your star. Mm. So nasikia mzee na tafuta na tafuta nyota yangu na nini. So you leave home unaambia wazazi naishia unaambia cheki ah uh, na ndevi na kam mm. vitu zikikuwa fit interrupt. Ah. And you know like the concept of ndevi na kam you never know when somebody aksema ndevi na kam kama anarudi ingi ukweli. Mm. Ukweli that's true by the way. You never really you never know yeah, yeah. yeah. and as I end I end. Eh ni kama like ukienda kubaki watu alafu unaona hiki watu alafu unajiuliza niko na hivyo sasa pale acha ni mwambie ndevi na kam and then you probably don't come back or something. Yeah. So yeah um just unaambia wazazi na ndevi na kam and then unakupea baraka. And then you get to the big city mm. and then you kind of meet your star. So the star in this particular poem is metaphorized is that a word? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Whatever <laughs> yeah. is is a is a girl mm. is this star it's both the boy and tree so it's like you it's a star you meet a girl mm-hmm. and everything is thriving mm. everything is looking good wase wana kupenda sasa crowds love you mm. when you when you chant roga ni siroga people are like yes wana sema roga yeah and everything is on the peak mm. but you normally know that a story does this and then ina shukanga chini mm. so you can choose to end the story at the peak useme things are looking up for this guy and probably is going back to his people and attend a kusel ye dia na wasota mpenda na nini mm. but in nandevi na kam at the center of the stage mali at the center of the show like mali katikati mefika you can choose to walk out of the show and say mo melan everything mm. and go mm. unfortunately kwa show ikifika katikati vitu enda south yeah so alikuwa na thrive amepata na star ana sema yes nimepata free sana kupata na wewe na i'm so in love with you mm-hmm. and everything is looking up and people love me and fame is everything mm-hmm. and ataje leo kani like star yake ile for large kampata yeah and then now vitu zinaanza kwenda south and the breakup happens where you giving it it's not giving as much mm-hmm. or you're forgotten a, a few things will you promise or the crowd is just everything inaanza kwenda south mm-hmm. and this particular time or the double entry kwa show ini Usta I mean for I may break up na msichana mm-hmm. in both ways. Alafu sasa vitu zinaanza kwenda south. Alafu right to where this, the show ends in Nishanga na Cliff Anga ikisema umse kwanza uchizi. Mm. So like you can imagine you've invested all your life in this and everything is not going when you only panga. Mm. At one moment you were very high and people loved you and now yeah. people don't really. So inaweza kuchizisha. So umse u kind of kuchizi. Mm. And anafika mahali anasema Mr. Ki competition you like you know that like the industry is a mm. competition it's do this minta ku copy ama nitaongeza kitu juu yako and stuff mm. and just the guy just says and they've been coming to you so we never know if the guy ever goes back goes back to you and, yes wow do you have a favorite poem that you've written <laughs> oh my days is there one that you just like this one is close to my heart i have so many poems which i really love mm mm-hmm. But I can perform one and see if yes please if that <laughs> let me even get my phone out <laughs> yeah all right Nini utumwa watu wawili kupendana Nini waweka waliopendana ni subra ama ni thana ya kupendwa mpendwa Mapenzi ni neno geni bila we hapa karibu na mie nipigie kama 
hautachukua yangu nikikusikia nijisikie <laughs> nipikie chakula ibe chakula tena nisikie mie ni mtu tena nichapie kama na minu na vomin kwangu nikulilie bahari welevo liponizika nifufue niambie unanipenda kuwa hii sio na hautawachilia ningamue nikivunjika utasita unichukie nisumbue na yanayo kusumbua nigundue hili pia litapita hope ninunue enough kuni take three urafiki unataka tuwe mi nataka nitue dunia na mpenzi wangu mawingu anakufanana hewe mpenzi wangu na kuona kwa kuchomoza na sunset mpenzi wangu nini <laughs> maisha mpenzi wangu tena wapi papasi yangu kama huko karibu yangu ewe mboni yangu mpenzi wangu mpenzi wangu wow Whew. that was incredible thank you wow when did you write that <sighs> I think end of last year or something mm. I was performing in a play and I was trying to tell a story of how love can be something. Yeah. Umepitia? Nimepitia kwa mashairi na kila kitu. I feel like love is a very broad thing mm. and in the essence of even loved ones be just beyond like mapenzi. I feel mm. like upendo in general is a very complicated thing. Mhm. Na the best thing unaweza fanya tu ni kukuapa for people. Mhm. Yeah so jana nimekuwa nalia sana nilikuwa na had a few friends who come to visit for like two months mm-hmm. alafu me and uh, oh. I just just seen how you may never meet again in life mm-hmm. or you might mm-hmm. and just seen that umekuwa hapo and you've loved each other mm-hmm. and now you've got time to part ways mm-hmm. so yeah just doing the poem and performing it feels like yeah I sink into that moment I'm grateful for the moments to me I've now say mm-hmm. and sometimes It's just okay to just let go of people yeah. and just trust that God is working. Mm. Yeah, so. That's true. That is true. Mr. Nzolo. Yes. What do you like doing apart from uh, spoken word and playing the guitar? That's the weird thing now. Mhm. Is that all you do? Honestly, I don't know what I do beyond that. Yeah. I, I feel like my life is tied artistically. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So kwa kati si chezi mziki siandiki poetry na andika mziki. Mhm. Or I'm trying to grow in film production and editing and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to learn how to produce and everything just to take control of my art. Yes. So when I approach a producer, I exactly know what I want from them. See, setting up like alafu naambia fikiria alafu tutanini. So I feel like my I'm very I'm very concerned about my art as much. So every time niki niki pumzika, the next time niki amka niko like okay, I need to do something. Mm which is kind of workaholic to some degree but i try to rest as much as i can yeah yeah but see any hobby besides that for me so. okay okay yeah. mr nzolo is an award winning oh poet let's talk about sondeka awards yes! and we had the creatives garage as well yeah Yo, how did it make you feel winning an award it's so recent yes. <laughs> how does it feel I can't even believe it honestly. Nilikuwa mm. nime tense. Yeah. Niko nime kiti chini. Mhm. Msali kwa kando yangu anambia let's tulie. Tumeshinda hii kitu. Unataka nimeshinda? Acha mimi nimeshtuka. Acha mimi nimeshtuka. Because like we we didn't like push it is it, it as much because we had a show coming up from mm-hmm. Nairobi so we were like should we push our show or should we push an award? Mm. So we just We didn't push it as much but seeing the live of the love of people like over 10,000 people voting for us mm-hmm. we like what It's huge we like what and yeah. then unakuja hapo make it chini i'm trying to see all the creatives in the room mm-hmm. nikole like, why am i deserving of this yeah. I, i don't see why i should get it mm. and then naitwa for a moment in the freeze and then I end up vele unale mwache unaambia watu and then you just eventually talk yeah But this award means a lot to me mm. and to the people even around me. I mean I feel like there's no formula you just have to be consistent you just have to keep doing it and people will recognize what you're doing. Mm. So yeah, mimi nikishinda I'm glad that people also are happy that I won. And yeah. yeah. 
the like the cherry no no cuz like Lex you should you deserve it niko like okay i do thank you asema na endelea to qualify yeah yeah but it's it was wonderful sana i was so grateful for that yeah congratulations man. you deserve it yeah. rasta man <laughs> how long have you had your dreads for <laughs> two years <laughs> two um, years i did that in may of 2021 dope 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 yeah. Now tell us about uh, this event happening on the July 26th yes. and anything else that you're working on that we should be uh, looking forward to. Yeah, um Rogan is Roge as I said has been one and a half years in the making. Mm-hmm. So the conceiving of it in January we started like conceiving Rogan is Roge in January of 2022. Mm-hmm. And now it's July of 2023. Yeah. And Jorgan is rogue is a lot of things. Mm. People don't exactly know, but I'll probably say it here. Mm-hmm. So Jorgan is rogue is an experience of a book written for that period of one and a half years. Wow. And now we are officially allowing people to tap into what we were creating for the last year and a half. Mm. And just now nataka sasa wa experience mm. because it's just beyond reading the book. Yeah. Because the books will be available right after the show, but the thing is if you do not understand what we aim kusema, mm then there's no point in even purchasing it. Mm, is this the freedom? It's not as... Fr- freedom is a friend of mine. Okay, freedom. okay, okay. So the book is Rogan is Rogan, actually. Okay, okay. But people think it's a show, which is a show. Mm. But the show is an experience of the book. Mm. So the Rogan is Rogan book, which tries to explore healing. Okay. In ways of love, loss, despair, death, and everything. Like, what is meaning in... What is meaning in... What is meaning in... What is very happy... And just trying to explore it and seeing, okay, so, nini na manisha, mini nitapata aje, nitapata mini na wapi kwa life, necessarily. Mm. Because I feel like it's easy in Nairobi to just lose yourself. True. In the country and everywhere. Especially wakati vitu kama toxic masculinity ziko, you're mm-hmm. not even allowed to show your emotions and stuff. Mm. And just keep, unafinya kila kitu, and then eventually, unapata burnout, or you consider things like suicide as an option. Mm. So just trying to understand is it is eco and people have mental issues. Mm. So what can we say about that? Yeah. So yeah. Incredible. Incredible. So it's happening July 26th. It's probably like two weeks or less than Yes, weeks now. yeah. Happening at the National Theatre. Um yes. is it too late to buy a ticket? It's not too late. I think probably in the next week it will be too late though. It will be sold out. So probably. where where can people uh, buy the tickets? I am Lexus Mshairi on every platform. So mm-hmm. if you visit my bio on okay. any platform. Link in bio. Yeah, in Kwabo. Dope, yeah. dope, dope. Is there anything you want to tell us? Any uh, last words? Maybe something for the fans, for the listeners, for other poets as well. Yeah. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema. Mhm. Asante sana. Mtu asadaka hapo pande wote. I'm joking. But yeah, God is really good. Mm. Mimi ni learn hizo vitu. Especially when things are going south, especially when good things but it's got power. God ame kwa tum true kila time. Mhm. And just anatu funza tu vitu and just trying to be there and present with people around you, loved ones. I think you know the biggest takeaway from me in mm-hmm. life and just trying to be consistent with what you're doing if you believe in yourself just do it just yeah. do it just do it yeah so me even though in Zambia my fellow poets or art lovers mm-hmm. or anything and yeah just try to be very true and honest to the people around you with what you're doing na ache kuwe na ku feel na life kama iko jazz in a life then try to find meaning true true Incredible. Thank you so so much, Thanks, Mr. Nzolo. Alexis and Shahiri guys, he is an award-winning poet, speaking machine, and he is a spoken word artist. Manyana Dreams Zakesho. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you want to play us something as uh, we love and leave the listeners listening yes, in. He is Avant done this poem in a while I hope I won't mess up okay mashambiki beba ndo na makwatike 
na maniela kamsuwa kambe na kaandikie nipo na mukie kambe ya kuitu la tamwene kavuti sikia kwa timba luti ndiko hata tulamute buti munuka uyatha uyatha na masanseti kehuti mbithe eruti bakileko nikwete mwiko ndiye yua isele ndike sothe la nite yese nitana apikia ndoto senye mbe ndina uthu na mundu nye ndie singu so mbuso ne nasioni siobika kulikalika haso ni mwakie mamika so wendoso isha cha kuwa ndoto ni mekana sita ni tafanana sita gari ni tabaia pa na mani tampa chochote anachotaka kila saa ni kawaseti ya ba na bado na nishona endafa hata kaa kumekuwa na giza siku itafika kumekucha the future mimi hapa ndiyo mana sikosi ujuzi na chokosa kutambulikana bana hawaezi kana ni mekuja jiji tujana toka machako sinaona vile sahii tunatoshana cheki kijana mistari kuzichana cheki pia kladi au mradi busara ni za mahat maganthi mistari nazo ni sick kuni screen wanipeleke kwa mbulu hadi washati wana campaign abstain caffeine tell me what do you stand to gain wakati umeniweka mali ya kuna love alafu me na my like minds to nay bring daro tukizigeuza spring vile wana kuja show wana acha zime bounce kijana wa home slow in the house you me na swim na dolphins waseme nimekuwa well kisima wanipe sigara tai tazima vitu na mwaga ganga roga ni siroge No gani sinoke Tuliroga hadi watoto mapasi si hizo ni ndumba wago an kidole ni chagumba nilisikia spoken word kwa mixed perumba <laughs> That yeah. is Lexus Mshahi and you can definitely be able to follow him on all his socials at Lexus Mshahi yeah. Mr Tanzolo and you can catch him live at the National Theatre July 26th yes. for the Roga Nisiroge um it's going to be amazing so make sure that you go cop your ticket to Mambiwa after we it's going to be too late thank you so so much for coming Thank to. you for me, Thank you so so much. It's been amazing. This yeah. is Radio 254, the home of Kenyan music and content. Make sure that you stay tuned because after me is Morning with Russ. We have Teddy Boy coming through and it's going to be amazing. Stay tuned.